Broadcasting stage productions is nothing new. For five decades since the 1960s, many performances have been shown on TV in the UK. But interest among broadcasters dwindled post-millennium and it soon became a rarity. Until, that is, somebody came up with the idea of broadcasting live performances in cinemas. Utilising the combination of huge screens, great sound systems and the collective gasps and shouts of laughter that can only come from being part of an audience. Though all the earth overwhelmed them to men's eyes. Hamlet, thou hast cleft my heart in twain. For the past few years, operas, theatres, museums and concert halls have been streaming performances both online and in various cinemas around the world, offering a unique perspective of the show, one that the audience can't experience in their seats far from the stage. The idea is the same as buying a film ticket and going to the cinema, but what is screened is the live stream of a performance that's happening in real time. This allows cinema-goers to feel like they're attending the theatre without physically being there, either because of high ticket prices or distance. For a long time, opera has been regarded as a form of entertainment only accessible to an elite few. Venues, including London's Royal Opera House and the Metropolitan Opera in New York, have been trying to make their productions accessible to everyone by live-streaming performances in cinemas. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland was among the most popular shows this year from the Royal Opera House. The UK's National Theatre turns outstanding performances into films, streaming them live worldwide. They've broadcast more than 40 productions live, including Young Marks, Hamlet and Amadeus, which have been seen by more than 5 million people in over 2,000 venues around the world. No Man's Land, starring Sir Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart, was one of the hits of 2017. Online live streaming isn't limited to opera and theatre. BMW Tate Live offers free online broadcasts of performances and exhibitions from London's Tate Modern, turning a static display into an experience of art that unfolds through time. Paintings were also live streamed in 2017. In August, all five of Van Gogh's famous sunflowers paintings, hanging in different museums, came together for the first time in a live stream. Innovations like this are quickly turning live streaming into an integral part of making the mediums more accessible to people who would otherwise miss the show. Mm -hmm.